But like putting the sock on for the first time, went and scoured through the house to find a tool that I could go and do to go and do it because my mom and dad were watching my sisters play softball at a local park, and I begged them to come home and help me get dressed, and they wouldn't because my best friend Joey, who's sitting backstage, I think, he's been my best friend since we were 11. He's my business partner now, but Joey, um, well, he's still my best friend too, but I guess I should specify that. But like, he um, was coming in like a couple of minutes, and he's going to go and pick me up, and I'm sitting at home. I don't have any socks on, you know, sit at home, no socks, sweatpants, T-shirt, I wanted to go and put on a nicer shirt, some jeans, like put on my socks. So I went and found a tool that I could go and use. And that was like such a critical thing. It's like this delusional belief of engineering, like my dad would always say, like there's always a tool, there's always a way. I think it was, maybe I'll get this wrong, I hope not, but like Archimedes said, like give me a lever long enough and I'll move the world. Right? It's like, that is the essence of it. There's always a tool, there's always a way. We just have to get over our cynicism enough to go and find it, right? We gotta go and get over, like when I hung up the phone with my mom and I can't convince her to come home, and now I'm like, ah, like I got 30 seconds to be really ticked off at her, and like, ah, 29 seconds to be really sad. But Joey's gonna be here in an hour, so I don't have time to go and lament. I gotta deal with this situation. So I went and found a paperclip. And for anybody that's ever used a paperclip, you know that you can reshape paperclips to go and form things. So I went and reshaped it with my mouth. I went and formed a, like a sort of a shape of a fishing hook. I stuck that in a sock. And for 30 minutes for that first sock, just, you know, saying some words I won't repeat here, like pulling this thing on, pouring sweat all over the stupid sock. Finally got this thing on. Next one took 15 minutes, cut my learning curve in half. Look at that, one time. And then, you know, but it's 45 minutes to put the socks on. I stuck the, um, stuck the paper clip inside the zipper and realized I could zip my pants up for the first time. And realized I didn't have time for the button. <laughs> Definitely didn't have time to engineer a solution for that. So I just threw on the shirt over top. And I was sweating through the shirt, thinking, like, I have to take everything off, shower, put it all back on. <laughs> Definitely didn't have time for that. But also realized that the shirt could go and conceal the button. And so like 99% of the time, I still don't button my pants today. Like, bet nobody noticed. 